Gorilla Tag lately has been just absolutely terrible. We've got the Pride update, we've got like a ton of stuff being added, and no one is happy. This Gorilla guy is making content, it just revealed that every single hit is fucking lies. But back to what I was saying, the Pride update. Everyone hates it. Like, it's honestly pretty good though, because we got obstacle courses and bouncy castles and that. But, uh, yeah, every single kid on the game just absolutely hates it. Now they'll just go into lobbies and say, Oh my god, Gorilla Tag's gay now. And they're all gonna quit Gorilla Tag or refuse to buy any cosmetics this update because, uh, they don't like it. Which, fair enough. I get it if you don't like an update, but, uh, every single one of these kids is homophobic. So now I'll just keep getting YouTube shorts popping up of people, like, hating on the update. I'm honestly not that OG to Gorilla Tag. I have the GT2, so I'm like, been playing for like nearly a year and a half and it's honestly you're lucky you got an update you could have just not updated the game this week that's not how it works he went and modeled like eight obstacle courses to put in every single map and then he gets so much hate yeah honestly it is ungrateful if you hate the update he used to be a one person team by the way just making updates all by himself but now he has admins and you know moderators who can go around and people will help model. But yeah, I think you can just get, if you call the update bad because it's gay, you can just get banned, I think, because that's just homophobia, like, blankly in a lobby. Well, not that way, but, like, if you call someone gay because they like the update, then you can get banned. It says on the board thing, no homophobia. I remember, like, back in the day, I wasn't playing, but they added, like, a sliding mechanic, and everyone was so hyped up, and it was, like, super super cool they added ice but now they can add whole like inflatable bouncy courses and everyone will just literally hate it so be grateful for the update that's on right now because he probably doesn't feel very happy after working that hard and then getting hated on anyways let's talk about that uh let's talk about the gorilla guy the gorilla vrgt uh if you don't know him he's been doing like these videos where you have to guess what content creator he is and uh, no one's been able to guess him so far. He was he, every day he would like make a clue out so it would help us get the right answer. And it was like, yeah, it's just really hyped to see the new clue. Until hint thirteen came out. Where is it? Oh, I'll play it for you guys. I just uh, here. Yeah, so all of our brainstorming the entire time basically meant nothing. I mean, I thought it was Wreck Egg. I mean, remember, like, I, it wasn't that long. It was pretty recently I started thinking it was Wreck Egg, which is a Rec Room YouTuber that just recently found Gorilla Tag. And his editing and his sounds he uses in the videos are very, very similar. Not similar, literally just the same thing. I remember when Gorilla VRGT made his first video, which was, you have to guess which content creator I am, which is the original one, just the, uh, you know, the intro to this whole challenge, and I had no idea who it was, but it was just really early on in this challenge, and I didn't think it was going to get big, but before I knew it, everyone in the Gorilla Tag game just knew about it. Honestly, this guy's keeping Gorilla Tag alive, like, single-handedly right now, like, but the content creation for this guy is just such high, it's such a high tier that I don't think a small YouTuber can create this. So it made sense that all the hints were lies. That opens up like actual people like J Man Kelly and VMT and people with over like 500k. It, I feel like it could always be one of them because 
I feel like that might be one of the only people who are putting in so much effort to their videos, whatever. But I don't think it could possibly be J Man Curly because he has a full channel that he's been running like pretty good recently. So I don't think he has time to actually run two uh, two channels. That's he's doing a, a lot on his own. VMT, however, f I feel like he's the kind of person to do that. It's like he could be behind all of it now with the hint lie thing. That all the hints are lies. That's now with that, it could be VMT. But, uh, yeah, I swear to God, like, this Gorilla Tag Pride update that everyone is pissed off at is just. It's kind of stupid how everyone hates it. It's just straight up homophobic. And when you go to, like, TikTok, you'll find a video of someone hating on it. And then you'll look at the comments on the video, and everyone agrees, like, oh, Gorilla Tag fell off, Gorilla Tag is ass now because of this. It's honestly just sad. Gorilla Tag's Pride update is finally here, and people are not happy about it. I hate it! This lobby is meant to destroy it all! I don't really support LGBTQ at all. The negativity towards this update is not very surprising, seeing as most Gorilla Tag players are immature children. I don't think he could have said it better. That was, uh, pretty good. Like, most players are just immature children. It's just a fact. Oh, but this, this is the saddest thing I've seen all day. It's one of these like bigger people, but uh, this is on uh, the Pretty Prince's video, uh, the video I just showed you. But uh, it's one of these like bigger guys on it. Honestly, if you're a kid and you liked that comment, you must feel real good going to school and like bragging to all your friends about liking it. Now this one's uh, a long one, so I'm not gonna read it, but you can pause it if you wanna read it. But basically what he says is, uh, he's not very happy with Pretty Prince calling the kids immature for not liking, uh, Pride. Like he said, um, that it's, he thinks it's basically Pretty Prince saying it's immature to be Christian. Which I get what you mean, but it's immature that these kids have been, like, brainwashed in a way to think it's bad as soon as they see it. Like, if you're... It's like two different things, basically. It's mainly these kids off of YouTube thinking it's terrible and evil. So, no hate to this guy. This guy's, uh, this guy's fine. But Pretty Prince isn't wrong. My, most of the actual fan base is immature children. It just is. But if you've made one of these comments before, don't act like you're safe, bro. Seriously. I'm gonna fight you, bro. Do not. If you make one of these comments, what the hell are you doing? Why are you on here? Why are you on YouTube? Uh, but that's my thoughts on the new update. Uh, yeah, I'm out.